Hi friends, welcome to a brand new week. It's Monday today, so happy Monday to you all. The date is correct. <laughs> Did it all by myself. <laughs> so I just want to welcome you all back to the channel. I have a prophetic message to share with you guys today based on a dream that I had on February 8th this year. Um, so yeah, welcome back. And if you are new, you are most welcome. It's so good to have you here. Thank you for tuning in to the channel. Um, but there is a disclaimer. Even though you tuned in doesn't mean that this message is going to be for you. So please stick around for the disclaimer, especially if this is your first time you knew here. And for the rest of you, if you know the disclaimer by now and you know what I'm about to say, you can use the time markers in the description below the video to skip ahead to the message. Okay, so quick disclaimer for those of you who are new it's so important to note that not every prophetic message that i share on this channel is meant for you okay that's not every message is meant for you so i make that clear just because you clicked on this uh particular video on this channel doesn't mean that that's a sign and you should run with it it's really important that you have your own relationship with the Holy Spirit, that you can take it back to him and ask him, um, like, is this for me? This kind of resonated in my spirit. I think I want to pursue this. Um, and the Holy Spirit will set you straight. It's all about just being in line with his will at all times. Okay. Now, for some of you, this is going to be a confirming message because what I'm going to share is going to confirm what the Holy Spirit has already been speaking to you about. But if you have any questions, make sure that you take them all back to him. Again, just make sure you have that relationship with him and you hear from him directly for yourself. OK, so in this particular dream, it was a really short dream. Right. Um but very profound, very meaningful. Okay, as most of you know, I've stopped sharing my dreams on this channel um, just by instruction of the Lord. He just put it heavy on my heart and he had even given me a dream about it. So I don't really share my dreams here unless he leads me to. Um, so I'm just going to jump straight to the message. Okay, that's for those of you who are new in case you're wondering how this works. Okay, um, so what? Okay, let's get the notes. That helps. That usually helps. It keeps me, you know, together. So what the Lord was showing me, hold on. So what the Lord was showing me is that there is a generational anointing or some kind of position, right, um, that was not taken up by the previous generation. As a matter of fact, the someone in your previous generation, right, yeah, I think that's the right term in your in the generation just before yours, like a parent or an uncle or an aunt or somebody in that generation before yours, pick this thing up. They started something. The Lord had put it on their heart, had sown certain seeds in them. But what I saw in the dream is that if whoever this is for, it is your job to pick it up and take on this mantle almost it's like a position that the lord is giving you it's a spiritual position um the a very prominent color in the dream was a beautiful light blue it was so beautiful in fact i feel there to actually share with you um just what i saw you put on in the dream it was a beautiful um crocheted beanie it was such a beautiful blue and um, you also had on like a cardigan, um, which was also the same color, just beautifully knitted or crocheted. I wasn't sure. I felt more like it was crochet, but some of it looked like knitting. I don't know. But um, it was just really, really beautiful. But what, what I noticed in the dream is that when you take this thing on, when you put this anointing on you when when you actually take it on let me put it that way when you take this anointing on you because there's a you have to take it you have to come into agreement with the lord and say yes i'm going to take it because you are actually the game changer for your family you know some people i've heard it described as um the curse breaker uh, i felt led to call you a game changer today that came so strong you are the game changer in your family you are the game changer for your family and so this is something that you're gonna have to sorry my speaker scared the life out of me it turns off with that weird sound. Anyway, sorry. You're going to have to take on this thing and come into agreement with the Lord and say, yes, Lord, I 
if this is what you want me to do, then this is what I'm doing. And the way it is right now is that it's it the foundation is in the Lord, right? But because the previous generation did not understand a lot of things, because they lacked in certain um, understanding, they were not equipped the way that you have been equipped. And that could be for many reasons. The strong sense I got is that there's like this agreement, this understanding that they were never me- meant to carry that mantle. They were never meant to actually carry it. Their role was to start something off and you are going to be the person who actually carries it, who actually embodies this position within the spiritual realm. Remember I said the color was this light blue. Light blue represents the spiritual realm. It represents the, the presence of God. It represents heaven. Let me rather say heaven as opposed to the spiritual realm. It represents the presence of God. It also represents, I wrote here something really nice. It represents something dedicated to a holy purpose. Okay, so you are dedicated to a holy purpose. There is work for you to do that you have been specifically handpicked to do by God. This is not a case of the previous generations just didn't do it, therefore it's being passed on to you. I did not get that sense. I got the sense that things happened as they were supposed to happen Um, because of the circumstances, because of the lack of knowledge with the previous generation. And the Lord was okay with that because he knew that he was going to raise you up. He already had this plan figured out at the foundation of the earth that he was going to raise you up, the family's game changer. And the beautiful part is that even though you're the person who has to take on the position um, or put on this this authority, I've got a strong sense of authority, like just putting on this power and authority. Um, and, and the reason I say that is because you are taking this thing on and because of you coming into agreement with it, it comes with a responsibility and you are given autonomy, if, if that makes sense. I don't know if that's the best way to describe it, but you have been given power and authority in things that previous generations were not given power and authority. But to go back to what I was saying is that the beautiful part is that everybody gets to benefit. I got the sense in the dream that there was this general consensus, this general understanding that you are the family game changer. And I don't know what that's going to look like for you, but this is something that you have to take on and put on, you know, put on that power, put on that authority, let the anointing of the Lord flow through you because he has work for you to do. He has, um, he's putting you in that position. This is your position. This is your space. This is your place for you to move forward. And, um, the scripture that the Lord gave me, you know, I sat for a while asking God for a scripture. And sometimes when I do that, I make suggestions. I'm like, Ooh, what about this part of scripture? What about that verse? Or what about, let's look at, you know, whatever. I'll think of a character that kind of reminds me of the scenario that God is showing me through a dream. And everyone that I chose just was like, no, it was such a simple and obvious verse at the end of the day when the Lord led me to it. But I didn't think of it at all because I was like, I've quoted the scripture so many times that I didn't even It wasn't even on my radar, but the Lord finally put on my heart Romans 8 verse 28 to 30, which I'm going to read to you. Um, And as I read it, just hear it from the context of you taking on what God is giving you. When all of this will manifest is obviously in God's timing, but taking it on because you have seen all the different things that have happened in your family. You have, um, some of you have even been like the black sheep, um, like an outcast in your family. Some of you have been misunderstood, um, but you still have good family relationships. You still are part of your family to an extent, you know. Uh, I just got the sense that there's, there's a there's something that's going to happen there's going to be this shift that happens that is going to be as a result of your anointing actually as a result of the way that you have been moving and talking you know how you've been sharing um Jesus with others how you've been uncompromising in your walk uncompromising in being obedient to him um, how you are just haven't been moved or shaken by what has moved and shaken others. You know, people tend to make decisions based on, well, 
all these people around me are saying I should go this way and you're that one guy or girl that's like I'm gonna go the way that God tells me to so people have been watching you live out this life of just moving in faith moving in obedience and because of that it's going to change a lot of attitudes in your family towards you it's going to help people to really see um what God is doing in your life if that makes sense and this is what leads me to Romans 8 verse 28 to 38 it says and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God to those who are called who are the called according to his purpose for whom he foreknew he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren right moreover whom he predestined these he also called whom he called these he also justified and whom he justified these he also glorified this is your process he predestined you he has called you he has justified you and he's going to glorify you um some of you are still being justified you know the point is this is your pathway this is the way god is leading you and you are not only going to be a blessing to yourself because this whole position of authority that God is giving you um, with regards to just being the game changer for your family it's not just for you it's going to be for your whole family God is a God of restoration he restores some of you may look at your family and think yeah I'm just gonna follow God and live my life that way and surround myself with people who um, are obedient to the Lord who are like-minded but I just, I've always felt so strongly that the Lord does not want us to leave our families behind. That yes, there's a lot of brokenness. There's a lot of um, dysfunctionality. Just, you know, horrible things that happen in families. Witchcraft, <laughs> you know. And God has chosen you to be that person who can see past all the evil that has been done in your family by family members. God has ordained you to be that person who is able to look past it, to see the greater glory of God in the situation, who is able to understand that I'm the vessel that God is going to use to bring healing to everybody who is broken in my family. Because all of these things that happen, all the evil um, decisions family members made bad choices whatever the case might be was all out of brokenness out of them also struggling with their own demons and the Lord has raised you up as somebody who can truly see and understand that and can have grace and focus on where God wants you to be and how he wants you to operate to be that family game changer so that is today's message i pray that it blesses you if it's for you and i will of course see you in the next video always remember that god is a good father he loves you so much because you my friends are so deeply special to him